Look at this mighty Kubota tractor, but it has such a wimpy horn. We got to do something about this. Let's put a real horn in this tractor. This is a set of matching horns low and high frequency for the Kubota tractor. They're air horns and they have twin terminals that we're going to connect. This is the high frequency 510 hertz 60 decibels. And this is the low frequency 410 hertz. They work together and we're going to wire these together. So we've got the two horns here. Fortunately the Kubota has nice connections like this. We're going to line these things up in parallel. So we'll have one of the power cords from the Kubota to these and then to these. So we'll connect these right now using some of these electrical connections. So we'll strip these wires, just the ends, so they'll connect to the, the, the terminal connectors. And then we'll put these in there like that and we'll crimp these. Crimping is really effective. So that's in a crimper and it really does lock that terminal in place. Then we'll do it for the the negative wire as well. So now we can connect our wires like this. wires like this and now you're thinking wait a minute how are you going to hook that to the battery aha we've got some other nice connectors okay we've got these connectors it'll just pinch the wire here and we'll use a lineman plier to snap that together that then these pieces will fit right in here but we're going to um, put a segment of wire between these and crimp these so now we have wired these together and you can see this terminal goes to this this goes to this and now these are leads that will be connected to the Kubota terminals so it'll fire off both horns at the same time. Okay, here's the front of the tractor. I've lifted the hood up. And this is where the horn is, right there. It has a 10 millimeter bolt <coughs> holding it in place. We'll take that out. take the horn out and disconnect the connectors here and that then again here's my horn system the two horns the high and the low each connected together same same terminal and then for these leads join those so that these will be in parallel so these will be the connections we will connect on the tractor and we'll see if we can mount these two using that same bolt hole. One will be like that, one will be like this. 
And we'll line up that hole there for both of them. Hope I don't drop the bolt. See if we can very close. There it is. Spin this on. And tighten it up. We should have a nice set of horns here. And then we'll just connect this. Bring this around. And make those connections right here. One. Two. We should have a good horn connection. So here we go with the new horn. Yes, now that's a horn suitable for this mighty tractor. All right, so that completes the video on the installation of a strong horn for a strong tractor. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please click like. Please comment. As always, stay safe.